this is our data right left side by when you see the left side so uh, we will try to pull the uh, records where we see uh, temperature maximum temperature is 35 hours above but three consecutive days okay uh, we will try to capture those data and show something like this okay so so this is the actually i am expecting this is the output that i want to get it from this source if you see this output all are all maximum temperature are get than or equal to 35 and that to three consecutive days if you see 16 17 18 these are the consecutive okay these are the consecutive uh, and then and then uh, 26 to 29 these are also consecutive days so i want to pick these records let's let's try how we will use uh, the lead and lag functions to get this output okay so if you don't want to use the lead and lag, then our query length will be more, uh, you know, more complex. Uh, it is a little challenge to solve it. Okay, but uh, by using lead and lag function, our work will be simpler. Okay, so we'll try to uh, write the query. Let me write the query first by seeing this data. I want all columns. Now, question is, let us say. First of all, when you get any problem, right? Any problem statement or in any in in any interview, first of all, you have to understand the problem statement. Then the data that they are giving, okay? Based on the data only, we can able to, uh, you know, implement our logic. So understanding the data is very very important. Okay. Now, first of all, manually check where we have it more than thirty five. Here, uh, it is a more than thirty five, but the next records. This is 35, 36, 35. That means we're supposed to pick this one, 16, 17, 18, right? Now let's let's assume how we have to write a condition to pick those records. Okay, at least for 35 record. Okay. Now <clears throat> to write uh, to pull such kind of records, then we have to write a case statement, right? The case when like a if statement only. Okay, case when max of max of temp is greater than or equal to 35 this is our first condition right okay and and we have to check one more condition right the condition is next value next value also should greater than 35 and uh, the second next also should be uh, you know greater than or equal to 35 right so what i will do I will write one more condition for the second value to pick the second or to check the second value is 35 or not or the more greater than or equal to 35 or not so you tell me uh, i'm here but i want to check this then what function we have to use obviously lead right so let me write lead okay lead what column max column max column temp over Order by order by temp date temp date again it's second time okay temp date that means uh, in this column right in this column we will we will uh, you know this thirty five will be stored okay uh, because uh, we are not giving any uh, value here right so by default it will take one okay. By, tape, by default, it will take one. Okay. Now we should uh, check whether this is greater than or equal to 35 or not. Okay. Okay. If it is greater than 35, then what is our next condition? We have to check this one also, right? This one also because three consecutives, right? So to check this, but I'm here, but I want to check this. Then what condition we have to write? Same condition. Same condition with one change. What is that change? I want to check the second right, so I want to give the offset as a two. That means it will go and check this one. Okay, this is for this value, and the second condition is to check the second value, and third condition is to check the third value. Okay, so by using this statement, <clears throat> I'm checking whether three consecutive uh, temperatures are greater than or equal to that fair or not. Okay, so what we will do, 
if it is if it is uh, true then just put as s that means consecutive else 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 no okay that's it my case statement completed okay end as as uh, you can give any flag uh, okay finished we we completed that uh, statement uh, from quota temperature table right let me run it see here uh, wherever you are seeing no that means our condition is not satisfied see here for this value it checked by taking this column as a reference it checked the next two values 36 35 that is the reason it got uh, you know uh, s but if you see the second value it is 36 we supposed to pick this value also but the uh, thing is uh, you know first condition true the second condition is false that is the reason it has given no here also same first condition false second condition false that is the reason it has given no but we supposed to pick these two as well, right? Okay, so I'm here, here also. It is true because next two are more than 35. And this is true because next two are more than 35. It is false because next two are not more than 35. Okay, but to pick, to pick, uh, you know, this record, then what type of, uh, you know, condition we have to write? Okay, now what I will take, uh, just copy this copy this and paste here i'm at i'm at 36 okay uh, to check the 35 right uh, 30, to pick the 35 36 if this is a valid then we have to check the previous one right because we are trying uh, to get the data of uh, consecutive days right so uh, i have to check previous one to check the previous one we have to use lag function, right? So here, what I will do, current 35, that is, that is uh, this column, and that's, the previous column is 35, right? So to check the previous column, then we have to use lag function, right? So lag, we checked it, we checked it. And coming to next, we have to check next value also, right? So if we want to next value, then we have to use lead, lead only one. Okay, that's it. Okay, similarly, uh, now let me let me uh, run this query. Let me run this query and check it. Okay, so uh, we have implemented and uh, for two records, right? So we need for third one also. Okay, because uh, if if we able to write uh, third logic also, then we will get the data which we ex which we are expecting. Okay, see here, this is uh, now earlier we saw only uh, 35 is a yes, but here we saw 36 is also yes because the previous one and uh, you know next value or following value are meeting our criteria. That is the reason we got yes yes. But coming to this, this is also 35, right? We supposed to pick this also to pick this then uh, we have to check what okay we have to check the previous two previous two uh, at least previous two should be greater than or equal to 35 so to check previous two then what what may be the condition first of all we have to check current also current means this is the current one it is fine and to check the previous then obviously we have to use lag function right this will you know search for the previous one and what I will do, we have to check the previous two value also, right? So here we have to give lag and comma two, right? So that it will check previous one value and previous two value as well, okay? So uh, let me uh, edit this 71 uh, uh, row so that uh, uh, will satisfy this uh, condition, okay? So, lag comma two right now 
with three conditions that we did we written. Uh, let me execute it. See, these are the three conjugates, right? We are, we are seeing flag as S. Here also, 36, 39, 40, 38. These are more than 35 are consecutives, more than, uh, you know, for three days, three consecutive days, right? So now whatever the expected, uh, we are almost done. But thing is, we don't want uh, other columns where the flag is no. That means in, gen in general, what we will do, let us, this is a, a sub query. I will put this query, I will put this query in a sub query and uh, write, write the uh, actual query, okay? Uh, and with the where condition, right? Okay. See, uh, let me write this, select CT. Come on, temp. Just want to. Okay, let me uh, do select star. Do select star form. Assume this is a subquery. Okay. Assume this is a subquery and uh, black one. Okay, or subquery. Now I want to fetch only way flag equal to. Yes. Okay. Let me run it. See, this is what we expected, right? Guys, is it clear? Please tell me quickly, we have only three minutes left. Yes, Narish, it's clear. Okay. So uh, whatever we discussed, uh, you know, this output is uh, very much matching with our the output that we just now did it. So uh, this is one of the real time. So you can apply wherever it is necessary or wherever it is applicable. Okay. But uh, majorly you have to understand lead and lag functionality. Okay. And this may be, you know, um, but this will come only when you practice it. Okay. By seeing it is, it is a little difficult to understand, but once you practice it and everything will be clear. Okay, I have already created a notes and I'm going to share with you um, in a in a link. Okay, so you can practice it. Okay, I just given a, 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 uh, with the example some by taking some data, and uh, you can practice your own data if you have. Okay, guys, uh, any questions? We have three minutes left. Naresh, if it's not too much to ask, uh, do you have a, like a selection of questions that you can practice for interviews, like write the queries for real-time interview questions? I actually, I don't have the, yeah, I don't have those questions in ready but uh, uh, but I'm taking uh, important topics where in really in interviews we supposed to, we, we used to ask these questions many times in many interviews. So, Please uh, simply follow this, uh, you know, tutorials. And definitely, after a few months, uh, you will get uh, all the required and important interview questions and answers. Is it fine? Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, like, so what are the important uh, topics that we are supposed to cover for SQL? It is not yeah, uh, window functions are already started. <clears throat> you know very well, this is very important. So last week, um, the previous sessions, I already explained rank, tense rank, and row number. And these are the continuation. And uh, we'll try to cover these type of important questions because SQL is very, very important. And, uh, um, you know, it is very much similar to Hive or, uh, or in Snowflake. So SQL is a basic and you should know these topics. Okay. You don't worry. I will cover one by one. Guys, any other questions before I close this call? Hello, Naresh. Yeah. This is yeah. Hamon. Okay. Morning, I messaged to you in WhatsApp. Like, yeah, uh, hey man, you call have, me uh, yeah. after this uh, session. Okay, nice. Thank you. Guys, uh, if you don't have any questions, uh, we'll close here. Okay. Thanks for uh, joining the session and have a nice weekend. Thanks, team. Yeah. Thank you, Narish. Thanks, Narish. Thanks, Narish. Thanks, Narish.